Mad Squad, what's happening? It's Joe, aka Mad Joe of C. This is going to be my in depth analysis video for the Justice League Official Heroes trailer. In these in depth analysis, I do what we do is dissect the trailer and listen to all the dialogue and pause all the scenes frame by frame to check out everything and listen to everything that we may have missed during our hype of watching the trailer for the first time. I'm telling you now these in-depth analysis do tend to be pretty long because it's pretty much in the name in-depth analysis. This isn't just a standard review. I pause the whole entire trailer frame by frame to make sure that we cover everything. Also I want to mention something I've noticed in a few of my in-depth analysis videos. After a while the video tends to get kind of pixelated. Um, I don't know, I don't really know what to do to fix it. I don't use like the best recording software. I just use my OBS and when I tend to pause videos, when I keep it paused for a while, it tends to get pixelated once I've edited it into a video and it's on YouTube. Hopefully you guys should be able to still make out what is on screen. Like it doesn't, it never gets pixelated to the point where you can't make out what it is that's on the screen. So yeah, everything will still be clearly visible. Now, Let's get it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> All right. So you know, you know we were talking about this. All right. Look at that. I paused it perfect. Look at that. Look. Look at the Batman. Look at that lightning behind him. I wanted it. Like, All right. See. There we go. <laughs> Money! That's money! That's a money shot. That is Zack Schneider. That has Zack Schneider written all freaking over it. Okay, look at look at that. Look at the cape. Look at the cape! Holy crap. Alright guys. That's sexy. That is sexy. And notice how like uh down below there's a lot more added to it than what we saw in the 2017 San Diego Comic Con trailer. And also the background is a different tint. There's a red tint in the sky and on the ground versus the dark blue tint that there was previously. So look, and based on what's on the ground now versus what we're able to see before, we couldn't make out whether he was on Earth or on Apocalypse maybe. Wow, that sounded weird. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, it definitely looks like he's on Earth. You can see trees. I'm pretty sure those are trees. And maybe, like, some structures down below. So, it definitely looks like it's on Earth. Freaking money. Also, you can see another structure right there. So, I'm pretty sure it's on Earth. Freaking farmhouse, okay. So I'm pretty sure this is a dream sequence. Now it can be two things, okay? Think about this. Hold up. Yeah, think about this. It could be a dream, or, and in these in-depth reviews, sometimes I tend to say things that could end up being a potential spoiler. I'm not trying to spoil anything. I don't even know if it's a spoiler or not, but it's just things I'm thinking of in my mind. What if this is the aftermath of the battle with Stephen Wolf? They've won, Superman's returned, it's all over, and it's near the end of the movie. You know? Th think about that. That's what it could be, and they just edited it in the trailer to make it look like this was the dream that Lewis had, because trailers do deceive us sometimes. I'll take that as a yes. What? And notice how he's wearing uh, the jacket from, I believe it was Christopher Reeves? Superman? I could be wrong. I haven't really watched those movies, but I do know that everybody was geeking out over this scene because 
uh, him and Barry were wearing the same jacket. So correct me on that if I'm wrong. I probably am. A lot of you are probably getting mad at me right now. But yeah, he's wearing that jacket. A nice little Easter egg by Zack Snyder. Snyder. Not Schneider. Snyder. The Ring. Personally, though, I do think I do lean more on it being a dream. The world remains in mourning after the death of Superman. She wakes up. Would have had Violence, Clark next door there. War and terrorism are all in the apartment uh, that we saw in Batman v Superman. All on the rise. And so, because Superman's gone, the world is. The world's almost like on a tipping point as far as violence goes and criminalism and, you know, terrorism is happening, violent acts of war going on. The world is spiraling into chaos because of what Superman did. Yes, everybody hated him in Batman v Superman. The world hated him, but they saw, they realized what he did. He sacrificed how much he loved them and had faith in, faith in them, even though they hated him. He still had faith in them. He had faith in humanity. He had faith in the world. And he sacrificed himself for everyone else. So, you know, it's almost like, because you know how Zack, Zack Snyder is with his symbolism. It's almost like, you know, a Jesus act. Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross for all of us so that we want to be... Um, slaughtered as babies. Superman kind of did a Jesus act here and sacrificed himself for the world. Because, I mean, you never know what Doomsday could have done. It could have been a world-ending threat. So, yeah, that's just the way I see it. Since Zack Snyder does like to have a lot of biblical symbolism, which I absolutely freaking love. I love when he does that. And right here... I mentioned this before in my breakdown for the 2017 SDCC trailer, but I want to mention it again because I'm hearing things whether Superman will have the black suit or not. I don't know if maybe he might have it like when he, uh, when like we first see him return or maybe like right when we see, like I don't know because I'm pretty sure when he was buried, he wasn't buried in a black Superman suit, so really I don't know. I'm leaning more on maybe, maybe we, why do I keep saying maybe like that? I'm leaning more on maybe we won't, but you never know. I had a dream. He's talking about, there's no way he's not talking about the nightmare scene from Batman v Superman, okay? Right here. Some parademons, those definitely look like um, Amazons, Amazonians, in like a plain field. So I don't know if it's uh, in Themyscira or maybe Earth or some other terrain. I'm not sure, but it's definitely parademons. And those definitely look like um, Amazonians because they all look female. It was the end of the world. Look at... Look how freaking high he could jump! It was the end of the world. Look at that! Where's he coming from? Look at... Guys. Guys. Amazonians. I definitely think those are Amazonians. I can't get it paused perfectly. Yeah, based on, because those kind of look like the braces that Wonder Woman has as well. I'm not saying that's Wonder Woman, but I'm just saying I'm pretty sure that she's not the only one who wears them in the Mysteria. But hers are probably the only ones with the special effects. But uh, yeah, those look like Amazonians. Steppenwolf slamming down his axe. So again, it looks like his axe like terraforms whatever terrain there is that he slams it on and he looks like there's an army right there maybe looks like there's kind of an army 
So, I had no clue what was going on here until I saw a bunch of people saying that... So, people can turn into parademons. So, I, are all parademons people? Were all parademons originally people? Or can people just be turned into parademons? It looks like, like some... Let me see. Let me see that again. It's 100% human, it looks like. There's like a glowing effect happening on his face. Looks like maybe some fur is growing. Like, yeah, he's, he saw his fur just sprout up. His teeth got sharper. This is absolutely amazing. Look! That's hardcore. She freaking jumps on, like... Jumps to stand on the horse. Okay, that's awesome. And this all... I know some people are saying, Oh, what if it's Hawkman? What if it's Hawk Girl? I don't know. It could just be a parademon. Yeah, it's just a parademon. Yeah. If you saw it fly up, pay attention when it flies up. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a parademon. Snyder, 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 Snyder. Whew. Look at that. Look at that. So I don't know what the... There's it's definitely some kind... It, I'm pretty sure some kind of like symbol on the ground. I can't make out what it is. It's not the Omega symbol. So I don't know what it can be. It's just a bunch of... Apoc apocalypse invasion ships and then a huge uh kind of straightforward straight up explosion coming from the ground you have one right there and one over there as well i like how the sun is uh shining behind the mountains you saw that so this black this kind of black smoke or aura is kind of Going across the landscape, I guess, I guess maybe rotting it. I think it's something more. All right, so you see this girl here. She's looking out the window. She sees this invasion, uh, this brigade of parademons. I don't know if she'll have any importance to the story whatsoever. I'm pretty sure she won't. It's just, uh. A girl seeing what's happening in the world around her. All these parademons coming out of this little pipe. And I think you'd think that would come from a apocalypse invasion ship. But no, they're coming. They're, you see they're all coming from this pipe. So I don't know where the pipe leads. It's interesting. I also heard something about... Um... I do not want to get this wrong. I don't remember exactly what the person said, but somebody said that basically this scene right here is kind of a uh, call to revelations in the Bible. Something about when I think five trumpets were blown. Or I don't see. I don't want to get this wrong because it's a biblical reference. I don't want to say something wrong, but let me know exactly what this scene is about uh, Revelations, okay? Anyway, I love how Zack Snyder, Snyder puts in those biblical refer references. Look at this. This awesome shot of Batfleck. And the bat stubble is back. Something darker. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I want to keep talking about the dream sequence. I, uh, where I leave off? Yeah, so, basically, this is Batman's dream sequence coming to life, but in just a little bit of a different way. Uh, there's still the apocalypse invasion. There's just no Superman regime, how there was in the dream. Look at that is money. 
This is the most Batmaniest Batman picture I've ever. Wait, no, not picture. This is the most Batmaniest Batman shot I've ever seen in the history of Batman. You got Batman. He's in Gotham City. You have him on top of a building. You have the Batwing, and you have the Bat symbol. How much more Batman can this photo get? We're asking people we don't. Very, very, very nice shot of Arthur Curry, the Aquaman, the Sea King. Absolutely love the underwater aspect, everything we've seen so far. And I can't wait to see some of the Atlantean guards. I can't wait to see Mira. Ugh, absolutely. And I can't wait to see how they'll talk underwater. I can't wait to see how the underwater scenes will play out. Because, you know, we haven't really seen anything like this in film before, at least on this big of a aspect. It definitely is big of an aspect that we'll get in the Aquaman movie. No, to risk their lives. So we have Wonder Woman looking awesome and majestic as heck, standing on top of the statue. I'm pretty sure she's in London, probably near where uh, she works. Let me know, I'm pretty sure the statue has some sort of importance, is some sort of symbolism. Uh, the lady's holding a sword, and it looks like a weighing thing. Like, you know, you put something in right here, something right here, and you weigh them. So, uh, I don't know the importance of this statue. I don't know the meaning of it. So, please let me know down below in the comments, okay? Strong man as strong as alone. Never so, there's some dialogue that Aquaman just said that I want to talk about in a minute. But first, there's some scenes I want to look at as well. So... We got the scene of Victor Stone, obviously, in his house. You have pictures of him. Picture of just him in regular attire, then him in his football uniform. And it's cool that, you know, even though he's now this cyborg with mechatronic body parts, he still has he still has to live his life. So uh, he just goes out. He wears fully long sleeves that nobody can tell anything uh, probably wears gloves and maybe even wears shades, I'd assume. So, yeah, it's really cool to see him in, in the hoodie. And it's also really cool that he could project things from his hands. I'm trying to make out what's in these pictures, really. I can't really make out what's in that first one, but this second one, if you look at it hard, it kind of looks like... Like, if you look at this and then you look at this picture right here in his football attire, it looks like he's... He's looking at like some of his old games or something, maybe. Uh, it looks like he's in his football attire, maybe on the field. Money shot of... Look at that smile! Look at that smile! This is money. The smile. The, the, the happiness in his face. The costume. Or not costume. The outfit. All of it just looks freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. And also, uh, this scene with Flash, think about this. First of all, it's obviously the scene where Wonder Woman, Flash, Aquaman, and Cyborg are all standing together uh, at the Superman monument. You can tell by the background, okay? He's smiling. And he's kind of looking up, you know? So... Or like, what if Superman himself is in front of the monument? You know, because this is obviously after the League has been united. The whole entire League has been united. Except, um, exempting Superman. But what if this is when he returns and they're all looking at him? I don't know, it's just something I thought of. It's not the same. Now you know that water... It's cold as heck, okay? That's the Look at Bruce Wayne freaking in all that attire. Then you got Curry here. You got these icebergs, it, snow weather. You know that water's at least below like negative 12 degrees. Come, come on, come on, Curry. Come on, come on out there, okay? Dang. That's the opposite of what the saying is. So, that saying. Never heard that. Hold strong man as strong as alone. Never heard that. That's not a saying. That's the opposite of what the saying is. 
All right, so he says, strong men, strongest alone. You ever heard that? Then Bruce Wayne says, that's not the saying at all. That's the opposite of what the saying is. What I think the saying is, is probably somewhere around the lines of strong men are stronger together. You know, I think, because Bruce Wayne said that's the opposite of what the saying is. So I'm pretty sure it's somewhere along the lines of strong men are stronger together. And I like this hopeful these hopeful lines that Bruce is saying. If you've noticed that in the trailers, you're hearing really hopeful lines versus this Bruce that we had in Batman v Superman, which I absolutely freaking loved uh, that version of Bruce, by the way. So don't think I'm saying anything bad about that. I love that version, exact same that I'm loving this Bruce that we're seeing in the trailers. But you can tell that after Superman's sacrifice that... um. Uh, there's like a more hopeful side to Bruce. He's saying a lot of hopeful things because he has a restored uh, hope, restored faith in humanity. Saying is. First, Bat Batmobile booty. Awesome, awesome, awesome Batmobile. In my opinion, the best Batmobile to date. And we're going to be talking a lot about the some of these shots because a lot of them are different and way more touched up than what we've seen in the previous trailers. So you have all these crystal things, these crystal shard things like sprouting up from the ground. Even though I mentioned this before, I just love how this gun shell, this bullet shell falling on the ground uh, is like... Basically a callback to Batman v Superman near the end at Superman's funeral scene where they shot the cannons. You saw the bullet fall. Okay. Snyder. Alright, so yes, Flash did trip. I've heard a lot of people saying, did Flash actually trip? Yes. And I like that you have all this lightning and spark effects happening just because, like, he just barely tripped. I just find that, find that funny. Yeah, he definitely tripped. We are not gonna... That's a money shot. We... Aquaman, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Steppenwolf. Aquaman being thrown gonna... into a pillar by Steppenwolf, <laughs> then being straight up attacked by him. Okay? That's awesome. That is awesome. And think about this. I thought about this. What if, because... We obviously know that at first Aquaman is going to refuse Bruce Bruce's recruitment, okay? So what if that happens, Bruce then just goes on his merry way, but then after Steppenwolf takes the mother box from the Mysteria, he goes to Atlantis to uh, take the mother box from them. Aquaman sees Steppenwolf, uh, Steppenwolf invades, Aquaman loses the battle, and Steppenwolf takes the mother box. And then Aquaman's like, this is really, now, and like, you know, he's he's just like really pissed that uh, he's just been beaten in battle and had a mother box taken from him. He's just really pissed. He's like, now I have to freaking team up with this, this Bruce Wayne guy, you know, that, and maybe that's how he joins the league. All right, so. I have no clue what could be going on here. I can't tell where he is based on the background. It looks like he might be in pain. You know, it looks like he might be yelling. And I don't know what this could be. I've heard people saying maybe it's a boom tube. I'm not sure. This battle, I cannot wait to see. I cannot wait to see this battle. Wonder Woman... Versus Stephen Wolf, and here we get just like a scope of how much taller Stephen Wolf is than the league. Like, look at Wonder Woman and then Stephen Wolf. He's at least ten feet tall, if not taller. And obviously, you could tell this is the scene where, from the other trailers, we saw Wonder Woman, Batman, Flash, and Cyborg all together in that room, like in front of a like broken kind of walkway 
this is definitely it. You can see the walkway is broken. So I don't know exactly how the events happen, but in one shot we see them all together in front of it. Then in another scene, we see Wonder Woman 1v1 with Steppenwolf. Also, we kind of get a good shot of his face as well. Alright, so I've heard people saying they're not exactly happy with how his face looks. Some people think maybe he should have looked more human-like how he did in the comics. To me, we still haven't gotten a close enough shot to really make a good judgment. Because, look at the shot of Wonder Woman. We It's a close-up, we clearly see her face. We haven't gotten that type of shot for Stephanie yet. You know, that's that's not enough. We haven't gotten that type of shot for Stephen Wolf yet. So she takes his blow. And actually, he still knocks her down. Wow. She takes the blow, but he still knocks her down from it. And this right here kind of goes along with what I was saying about maybe Flash was looking at Superman. Because it's obvious this police officer is at the monument as well. You see the balloon, so, okay, he's pretty obvious. And the police officer doesn't look scared whatsoever. The officer looks kind of more like as, as if just he or she is saying, wow, you know, like kind of almost in awe. Poor me, Superman. That, that was just awesome. Okay, look, first, look at how, look at how freaking crisp, look at the crispiness of everything, like, look at how sharp everything is, like, absolutely amazing. Kicks the sword, catches it, one-handed, and freaking, like, marches to whatever threat she's about to take on. And also, I didn't notice this right here. I noticed Cyborg flying away, but he's flying away from Steppenwolf. So, I don't know, like, why Steppenwolf was kind of, like, right behind him. You know? He's, like, right behind him, not, like, I don't know. He's just, like, standing there. It's just, it's kind of weird. I don't know. I made him. Another... Awesome shot of the Flash. I can't tell really where he is. I can't tell what this object is in front of him. All I know is that he looks freaking awesome. Some awesome bat fleck action going on here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And I like the goggles. I told you guys before and I'll tell you again. I like the goggles and I like the whole entire outfit. Look at that. And like I said about the hopeful lines. Like, hold up. The world needs Superman. The world needs Superman. The world needs Superman. I made him a promise. I made him a promise. Okay? Those hopeful lines. I'm loving those. Another shot of the flying fox. Which I still can't really make out what the scale of it is because it could fit in, it could fit the Batmobile in it. And from the concept art, it looks like it's like really, really tall and pretty roomy. I want to compare it to the Helicarry. I mean, basically, like it is DC's version of the Helicarry, but if I was to compare it in size, I don't think I can. I think it's like a lot smaller. I, I don't know. I can't really compare it. We'll have to wait until the movie because. From these, we still can't tell exactly the scale. And you see this huge, huge dome thing. I don't know if this is on Earth. Like, you can't tell from the terrain if it's on Earth or not. And I don't know what could be inside the dome. Maybe is where, like, is Steppenwolf's base of operations. They're about to bust in. I don't know. I have to talk a lot about this shot. This was one of my favorite scenes in the trailer, if not my favorite, uh, favorite scene. You have Aquaman in the middle of the sky. And this is somebody who can't fly. 
in the middle of the sky, doing his thing, taking on parademons with his trident. Just slinging parademons. Look how he freaking just like kind of glides down um, to the ground, almost as if like he's parachuting. Like he just kind of like like leans to the side and glides down, you know? Or even almost as if he's swimming, but in air. And you can definitely tell it's on Earth by uh, just the terrains, some small, smaller buildings. This is why I brought you together. Look at the, like, he's freaking, fl like, look at him come, like, brought you together. no craps giving, like, look at that. That's why I brought you together. Almost as if, like, he's swimming, but, like, in the sky. And then he just freaking gets caught by Cyborg. I like this team up and this interaction here, too. Caught by Cyborg. Right ain't over yet. My man. My man. <laughs> My man. My man. I freaking love the... I freaking... Aquaman is going to steal the show for me, okay? If he could end up being like my, my maybe my third favorite. I still have to put Batman and Superman at the top. But Aquaman is probably definitely my third favorite member of the league, okay? Ready. And some people were talking about Cyborg's form here and how, uh... He didn't really look good. I don't know. I mean, to me, I don't really see anything wrong with it. Maybe besides his eyes should be glowing red. But remember, the movie doesn't come out until November the 17th. And even though they're still, like, they're this close to the movie, they're still touching things up as we speak. So, it won't be until, like, maybe the final week that the movie's completely finished. So, uh... Yeah, you get a really good look at his armor. I like the kind of scale, the scale pattern that he has going on. It ain't over yet. My man. My man. Dude, he just freaking flings him. Like, he flings him like he's nothing, and he could do that because he's a god, so it won't kill him or nothing. And that freaking, like, surfer boy scream, like, woohoo! Like, just that surfer boy scream. That's how I'm seeing Aquaman, it's just like, the cool surfer board bro type of guy, you know? Just freaking like flings, like kind of uh, spins his trident, shoots it at a parademon bullseye. And if you notice, this looks like the pipe that they were coming out of uh, earlier in the trailer when that girl was looking, and that this looks like the pipe. And I don't know what this structure could be, but this looks like the pipe. Some more sexy Batmobile shots. Parademon rips off the cockpit. And uh, notice how like the Parademons and Cyborg kind of have like the same kind of ribcage design. I heard people saying that because Cyborg is like partly made from the mother box that the him and the Parademons have kind of a similar design, you know. And Wonder Woman comes in for the blow, close. And again, we have some of like this crystal stuff. A lot of this is touched up, and the uh, tint is uh, red instead of blue from what we got in the San Diego Comic-Con trailer of this shot. Clotheslines both of them like a boss, you know? And Flash, I, yes, I noticed this. Some people actually didn't notice it. That's how fast it was, but yes, I did notice it. And you can't even, you can't even like, you can't even see him. You can't get a good shot of him. You, you can't, you can barely even pause it. Hold up. Let me see. Ah, see, I, I can't, I can't even get it. I can't get it. You, you can't get it. It's too fast. It's too fast. That sexy Wonder Woman smirk. 
Again, all of this crystal stuff has been retouched since uh, the last trailer that we got. All this crystal stuff and like just pay attention to it. It's moving and stuff. It's maneuvering. Like, you see it maneuvering? First through this building and uh, some parademons are on top of the building. Batman burst through it. And Aquaman went. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Awesome, awesome, awesome shot. Just freaking lands on top of the freaking Batmobile. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Then of course you know we have to talk about this shot right here. So this is um after Batman's recruit flash is like right when they're arriving to Gotham and Diana is there to meet them. Um they took the Mercedes into a plane and took the plane to Gotham. They're arriving in Gotham. Oh. And as soon as they get there, the bat si signals already uh, shining. So then, after this scene, I'm pretty sure they all suit up and go to it. Awesome. <laughs> As a bad signal, that's your. That that that's your. The oh shh shh shh. Oh wait wait. I can't say anything. That's that's you. Oh my bad. <laughs> I absolutely love it. it. Was fangirling over the bat symbol because that's exactly like that would have been me. That would have been me. Oh. And note like I noticed that I noticed that you got ice chemicals where. Uh, we saw Harley Quinn turn, well, we saw, uh, Harley Quinzel turn to Harley Quinn. I freaking love how the Ace Chemicals, uh, sign is there. Awesome. As a bad signal, that's your, oh, shh, sorry. Shh. It's your signal, that means we have to go. <laughs> Look at Bruce's, <laughs> Look at Bruce's face. <laughs> Just. No. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what that means. Yeah, 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 that's what, that's what, that's what that means. So it's kind of like, r really? Th this freaking kid. It kind of reminds me of Tony Stark and uh, Spider-Man when Spider-Man was like, Hey everybody, hey, Captain Captain America, uh, 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 I'm, uh, Captain, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Spider-Man, I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, we, we get that kid. Everybody, big fan, nice to meet you, I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, we could talk about it later, kid. <laughs> that's what this freaking reminds me of so freaking much and it's hilarious. Signal, that's your... Oh, <laughs> It's your signal, that means we have to go that. now. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what that means. It's yeah, so that's cool. what that means. <laughs> and then, just the face that, uh, Danny gives Bruce, he's like, what that means. It's so cool. It's, it's like, well, like two parents, like two parents and their, like, over-talking child. <laughs> I freaking love that. Alrighty, guys, that was my Justice League Official Heroes trailer in-depth shot-by-shot analysis. Actually, it wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. I remember my uh, analysis for the San Diego Comic Con 2017 trailer. That one was a little over an hour long. So since this was 3 minutes to 13 seconds, I didn't really know what to expect. But I got through it pretty quickly, quicker than usual. Still over about 30 minutes, I believe. So that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm sure it got pixelated at some points. And it shouldn't have gotten to the... It shouldn't get to the point where you can't make out what's in the shot. I don't have the best recording equipment, so I just use what I have. And sometimes when I pause things for a while, it turns out pixelated. I apologize for that. But I still want to do these reviews, I mean these analysis, because I enjoy them. If you enjoyed my analysis, let me know what you thought. Links to all my social media will be down below in the description box. There are two like buttons. Be sure to hit the bell the thumb pointing up. Share this video to anyone you feel enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, be sure to tap the subscribe button and join the Mad Squad on our journey to 10,000 subscribers. My name's Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Mad out.